of the Cheyenne. Keith Larson as Brave Eagle. Tina Nome Kina as Kina. Bert Wheeler as Smokey. And Kim Winona as Morning Star. Through the lands of the Cheyenne, the great rolling wagons came in endless numbers. I had promised they would pass unharmed as they traveled on their way to the land of the setting sun fulfilling that urge in the soul of man for room to live in freedom. There was plenty of room in this beautiful land, but renegades among my people burned with resentment at the intrusion of the white man, and lacking courage to attack the wagon train, lay in wait for stragglers. Determined to keep my promise, I stood guard, ready to protect the innocent and the weak. Well, there it is, Miss Patapore. The trail will take you straight to Fort Mason and your uncle. But if we weren't in peaceful territory, I wouldn't let you go off alone like this. We'll be all right. Well, good luck, ma'am. And give my regards to Colonel Matthews. Thanks, I will. Yeah. Won't my uncle be surprised when he sees me? Well, now, if I know Colonel Matthews, you may be the one to be surprised. He's real tough. The Indians call him old Iron Face. But he's a good soldier, real good. He's my guardian, and he's always been kind to me. He paid my tuitions to the very best school, and always sent gifts on Christmas and my birthday. I haven't seen him since school first started. I've saved every penny of my allowance to make this trip. I can't wait to see his face. I love surprises. <laughs> Do you like surprises? Well, you're sure in for one right now. Ha! Renegade Indians attacked the wagon. Nobody strikes a chief. I will. Hawkeye, prepare. The chant of Hawkeye, the medicine man, would drive the evil spirits from the wound. Sit. Go ahead and kill me, but I'll fight you. 
you with everything I've got. You talk too much. Sit down. Hey-ya, 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 hey anything, Sergeant? Yes, sir, Colonel Matthews. Well, speak up, man. What is it? This is the letter I wrote to my niece. I'm sorry, sir. Did you find any trace of her? Just some clothes, sir. No, no body, Sergeant. No, sir. Seems like no one was in the wagon when it came over the cliff. Then she could be alive around here somewhere. Heaven help the murdering savage responsible for this. I'll find her if it takes every man in the army. Sergeant, call in the patrol. We'll organize a search. All right, man, get started. Hello. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah. Hello there. What's your name? My name is Penelope Pattyford, but you may call me Penny. All right, then you can call me Smokey. And this is Morningstar. And this is the fastest pony in the herd. He'll take you any place you want to go. That's very kind of you. But first, I must speak to Brave Eagle. Brave Eagle, I want you to meet Miss Penelope Patty for, but you may call her Penny. She wants to talk to you. Brave Eagle, I... Brave Eagle, I... I've done you a great injustice. I want to apologize for mistrusting you. I, I don't know much about Indians. Colonel Matthews at Fort Mason is my guardian and uncle, and he... I know of the Iron Face Colonel. Uh, of course, Uncle Matt is not always right. He didn't even want me out here. But I came anyway. I think the Indians and the Americans should get to know each other better. Don't you? It is my desire. But first, you must learn that we are the Americans. Oh, oh, yes. That's right. You really are, aren't you? You see, I've got a lot to learn. Would you like to learn? I'd love to. We will teach you. You'll stay here for a while. When you arrive at the fort, you'll know more about Indians than the Iron Face Colonel. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Father, may we teach you how to paddle a canoe and ride without a saddle and shoot a bow and arrow? Yes, Keenan. That'll be good. Oh, that's a good one. Right in the middle. Hey, you try. your eye on the target. Well, you didn't miss it by far. You're learning fast, Penny. He's a good student. Soon she must join her uncle at the fort. I will be sorry to go. You're all like one big happy family. I too will be sorry when you leave, Penny. Father, may we hold a feast in her honor? Yes, Keena. You will like that. There will be dancing and storytelling, and you can wear a Cheyenne dress. Can't she, Father? One of our women will lend you a dress. Morningstar has a beautiful dress. That is true. Would you lend it to our guest, Morningstar? It's a pretty dress. It's soft as down and has beautiful beads. Come on, Morningstar. <laughs> it was my hope that the seed of friendship would be planted and carried by this girl to the Iron Face Colonel. It's the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Gill of Morningstar is a matter of pride in the family of our people. We have none to equal her among the Red River Cheyenne. But the beauty of a dress should be less than that of the girl who wears it. It is so in this case. Oh, thank you, Linehart. I feel like a Cheyenne. You look like a Cheyenne. We must give her the name of a Cheyenne. Oh, I'd like that. Let's call her fighting yellow hair. It suits her, but we will say it differently. We will call her Moonfire. Moonfire. Moonfire, that's good. Moonfire. Eat your dinner. I'm not hungry. 
She's a child of your acting like one. Eat your dinner. Moonfire, it is nicer with Penny. Penny! 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 Tina, where have you been? To get you a present. Oh! Tina, her name is now Moonfire. Moonfire? That's nice. What did you get me? This. <gasps> oh, that's nice. dance with me, and according to the customs of my people, I claim her. She will return with me to the Red River Cheyenne. No, baby, I don't want to go with him. Moonfire is not a Cheyenne and is not aware of our customs. She stays here with us. I will fight for her. Let it be so. be able to go to your uncle. If Brave Eagle wins, he will not make you marry him. You mean if they were fighting according to your custom, I would marry the winner? Yes. Even if it were Brave Eagle? You have done me a great honor. Never before has anyone ever wanted me to stay. Even my uncle doesn't want me here. I want to be a part of this big family. I want to be a Cheyenne. So it was that Penelope Patifor's decision to stay placed me in a difficult position. My effort to help had led to an unexpected trail. But we had yet to learn the complications that can arise from the presence of a strange woman in camp. Good morning, Smokey. Good morning, Moonfire. Where's Morning Star? She isn't here. I came to return the dress. It was very kind of her to lend me these things. She was very happy to be of help during your visit. Oh, but I'm staying. Tina says Brave Eagle will adopt me into the tribe, the way he was adopted. I, I wouldn't be Brave Eagle's daughter, of course. When you become a Cheyenne, Penny Patty Four, will you be able to clean and tan hides, make your own clothing, and your husband's, and make a teepee? Or will you still be borrowing Morning Star's dresses? That's not very polite. But it is a good question. 
and Brave Eagle and Kena and the Cheyenne have been kinder to me than any people I've ever known. And I want to stay here. There's a lot of difference between the Indian and the white man. You're nothing but an old hypocrite. Kena tells me your own father was a white man. Smokey was not polite. But what he said was true. Well, I wouldn't know how to make a teepee. The thought of cleaning a skin makes me sick. You can learn. You can learn to do anything if you really want to. You can learn overnight. Overnight? Oh, Kena, it takes years to learn how to do these things. Well, perhaps you can be like Rippling Stream. Who is Rippling Stream? She has gone to the Happy Hunting Grounds. She was in love with a big chief, and she was not like you. Well, how is she different? She was not as pretty as you, and she belonged to an enemy tribe. Oh. Rippling Stream was so unhappy, because nobody wanted her to marry Tall Tree, that she went to the top of Falcon Peak. What for? To have a vision. Oh. Well, did she marry Tall Tree? Yes, and they had 13 papooses. 13? Where is this mountain? Over there. Oh. Hannigan, you'll take your company into the mountains north of Cripple Creek. Cover that area between Black Canyon and Craig's Point. Come in. What is it? Earl Matthews, sir. Did someone here to see you. Who is it? It's me. That's all, Sergeant. Now, who are you and what do you want? I'm a busy man. I'm called Morningstar, and I don't want anything. And you're not too busy to hear what I have to tell you. How do you know how busy I am? Well, if you don't want to know where your niece is... My niece? What about my niece? Where is she? At Brave Eagle's Lodge. Brave Eagle's Lodge? That no... So he's the one who captured her. He did not capture her. You can have her back. Just go get her. Mm, it's a trap, that's what it is. It's no trap. Just go get her. She wants to become a Cheyenne. Become a Cheyenne? Yeah, and she's just headstrong enough to do it, too. Oh, that snake brave eagle. Turning my niece's head. Using my own flesh and blood to bargain with me, eh? Well, I'll bargain with him. I'll blast him off the face of the earth. Hannigan, sound assembly. I want every available man in the field. Forgive me. What did you do? I was angry. So I went to the fort and I told Colonel Matthews that his niece wants to become a Cheyenne. I wanted him to come and get her, but I shouldn't have done it. It was not necessary for you to tell the Colonel to come and get his niece. He will never become a Cheyenne. But she says she wants to. I could not refuse her request. But she will find this is not to her liking. What did Colonel Matthews say? He declared war. War? I will speak to Moonfire now. Just like your mother. But she's not here. Where'd she go? To Falcon Peak. What for? To have a vision. Where are you going, Kina? With Brave Eagle. Moonfire's gone to Falcon Peak. Matthews divided his force into small patrols and rode in the lead. As the hoofs of White Cloud thundered, carrying me closer to Falcon Peak, I knew that the actions of Moonfire could engulf my people in war. For the mountain on which my people go to seek inspiration and guidance from the Great Spirit, held peril of injury or death to the niece of the Iron-Faced Colonel. Who's that? Looks like Brave Eagle. After it.
cheat that red skin kidnapper. Pick him off. What kind of marksman are you? Stop them! Stop them! Hold your fire, Colonel. Your niece is up there. What's she doing up there? She went to get a vision. What for? She wants to become a Cheyenne. Then she's serious, eh? Carry on, men. Uncle Matt, don't you dare shoot Brave Eagle! Hold your fire. Oh, Brave Eagle, please be careful! Come down at once. Brave Eagle, you followed me. I'm so happy you're safe. I knew Uncle Matt would be opposed, but I didn't know he'd feel this way about it. It is how you feel it matters, Moonfire. Oh, Brave Eagle, I'm so proud of you. And I do so want you to be proud of me. That's why I came up here. But I'm so frightened. You should not have climbed so high. I'm not fit to be a Cheyenne. Smokey made me realize this. Smokey isn't always right. What did he say? He said I didn't know how to clean a hide, and I don't. That's unimportant. What else did he say? He said I didn't know how to make clothing for my husband and me. It's also unimportant. You speak of other things. He said I didn't know how to make a teepee. And he's right. I wouldn't know where to begin. These things are all unimportant. But who would do these things? Very simple. The husband would take other wives. The Cheyenne can have as many as he likes. Come. I am learning a lot about your customs. They are perhaps strange to you. But to our people, they are ancient and respected. Will you make them yours? No, thank you. You see, I have a few customs of my own. So you see, Uncle Matt, I just wanted to belong to somebody. Well, dear, now you belong to me. <laughs> Goodbye, Brave Eagle. Goodbye, Moonfire. Hold it! Oh! And so it was that Moonfire returned to her people and I to mine. And the Colonel learned that things are never as bad as they seem. Morning Star learned that jealousy is an evil spirit that warps the reason. And to his advantage, Tina learned at an early age that it is a woman's privilege to change her mind. Mm -hmm.